All right, Joey Diamond, what a game for you. Two goals. Your line was on fire tonight. Talk about this game. Um, it was a very special game. We were, um, you know, our line was buzzing and everything, and we were fortunate enough to get a few goals in on the net and uh, the game winner as well. Talk about playing at this venue. You guys have been waiting months to play here against the rival team, UNH. Uh, this is the coolest thing uh, I could, I've done so far in hockey, and uh, I'm just glad we got the W and uh, win it with uh, the best guys in the world, my teammates. What would you say the atmosphere was like here? The fans were so far away from you, but you guys were really pulling it together for the celebration at the end. Yeah, we, uh, we knew they were uh, right behind their net, and uh, we wanted uh, want to thank everyone who came down and supported us, and uh, it's a very special, uh, very special night for us. Talk about the pace of tonight's play. It started slow, really picked up in the second. In the third, things got pretty wild. Yeah, uh, the third was a uh, um, pretty crazy game, and uh, we, were, we were able to get... Uh, two off the bat or one off, right off the bat and then they came back and got one and we were able to uh, beat him in overtime. Sullivan had some really nice saves, especially in the third. Talk about his play tonight. Um, he, he's unbelievable. We knew he was going to be lights out for us tonight and uh, he was. Uh, they, they had a few few bounces uh, that didn't go our way, but uh, you know he stood on his head and uh, got the W for us. The season is climbing up for you guys. What do you see happening from here on out? Um, we just have to keep uh, doing what we're doing. Uh, we're having a lot of fun right now. We just want to stick to our systems and do what it takes to win hockey games. Flynn, the overtime goal tonight. How does it feel to get that goal right here on Fenway Park? Uh, it feels awesome. I have a bunch of uh, family and friends over here. Um, came to support and, and main fans have been great. So a uh, special one with the team. What was the ice surface like? There were a couple of wild bounces with the puck. Yeah, it, it was tough uh, out there. Um, you really had to try to keep it simple, keep it up the wall. Um, chipping in deep and just throw pucks to the net and eventually that paid off for us. Talk about the start of that third period. It was back and forth. It was really starting to heat up at that point. Uh, yeah. Um, they bounced back after we scored that early one. Um, you know, credit to them, they bounced back, but I think we didn't panic. Uh, we remained uh, pretty confident and stuck to our game plan. Talk about what this win means to you going forward the rest of the season. You guys are starting to work your way up the rankings. Yeah, we've been playing well of late. Uh, on a little bit of a roll here. Um, and I, I haven't beat, uh, well, we haven't beat UNH in four tries before this, so it feels pretty good. All right, Spencer, what a game for you. Your line was outstanding tonight. Talk about playing at Fenway Park. Uh, you know, it's, you know, I, I'm not a huge baseball fan or anything like that, but it was unbelievable tonight. Uh, you know, being a part of, you know, so much history is, is really, it's breathtaking. It was uh, great to be a part of. I had a blast out there, and I'm sure everybody else did. Obviously, UNH Maine, there's always a rivalry. What did it feel like tonight out there? Uh, it, felt, it felt like a rivalry, you know, after those first, uh, you know, starting lineup announcements, hearing the fans go, you know, it was giving everyone chills up and down their spine. It was uh, a special night. Uh, you know, the ice was, was, pretty, was pretty good for, for the most part, and, you know, we knew we had to keep it simple, and we did. Talk about the pace of tonight. UNH scored, you scored a little while until the next goal came, but they just seemed to always answer back. You guys got the OT goal. Yeah, after that fourth goal, you know, we, we were, I guess we felt a little too comfortable. You know, they, we got on our heels after that, and, you know, they had a flurry for about five, six minutes in our, in our end and scored two on us. And, you know, our coaching staff did a good job of keeping us at, you know, an even kill, not, not getting too low there. And I think our guys responded pretty well, you know. We, after that, we held them off for, for another five or five or six minutes, and then we, you know, we got on the attack here and there, and when we did, we, uh, you know, we put the pucks at the goalie, and he made good saves. The penalty, penalties tonight played a huge factor in the game. A couple power play goals for you. Talk about that. Uh, our, our power play has been, been clicking lately. Uh, uh, the first goal was, you know, Joe just presented his stick back door, and, you know, it was a wide-open net. E easy play for me to make. Uh, uh, Anthony Anthony had those two goals. You know, those big for us having that secondary scoring. Uh, you know, he's really come into his own here in the last two months, and it's you know it's a huge burst for for our line. You know, when the when the second and third are scoring. You guys got to have the Red Sox clubhouse here. What did you think was the best part of actually playing here? Uh, <laughs> probably the history. Probably just being able to to look back on it when you when you grow up. You know, knowing that you know this is never going to be forgotten. You know, I'll remember this for the rest of my life. You know, my kids will hear about it and everything like that. It's just just mostly the history and, you know, looking up at the fans and seeing how many people came to support us is, is incredible. You know, our fan base is unbelievable. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad we could get the win for them tonight.